Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thanks so much for tuning in, sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. This video is meant to be a little bit of an energy update and we'll see where we're gonna go from there. I um, have felt a deep sense of urgency and I think many people are feeling it. I've been um, told this by the way, if you're not feeling it, then no worries. No worries either way. This sense of urgency that many people are feeling, um, this heightened sense of anxiety, this heightened sense of pressure. I've done several videos about this under pressure. I think the last video that I shared recently, um, although I'm kind of mixed up on my videos because I've done a few and haven't posted them yet that are going to be relevant in addition to this one from my perspective. This heightened sense of electricity is a thing for a lot of people. When we are overly stimulated, our immune system takes a beating. And I'm playing with this. A beating is in the heart, as in, as in anxiousness. It's this fast feeling of electrical. We can feel very high. We can feel very low. We can feel very anxious and I will include this potentially in the series I will be sharing hopefully soon about the body but in the meantime drink plenty of water get grounded get into the heart we sometimes forget about the basics so keep it simple star seeds that's always take a deep breath in let it go Get into the heart, feeling gratitude for the body, feeling gratitude for the breath, feeling gratitude for this moment. Feel gratitude for a tree. Be grateful for our food, whatever it is. So that's number one. Always, always, always. There has been a heightened ramp up of energetic chaos from my perspective. There's been a timeline insurgence, and this is a play on words. My guides have said it's called it an insurgence. And I was guided to play with this because from one perspective, that can sound bad. That can sound fearful. And I will share, uh, if you were to look up, ooh, I, I kind of lost it because I, let's just play with that word for a moment. If you were to look up the word insurgence, it sounds scary to rise against. However, if you look at the etymology of the word, it's to rise up. So the reason my guides use this word is because it's all about our perspective. So we can feel this rising up because it literally is energy coming up in the body. It's our Kundalini. It's our electrical conduit, conduit currency that's coming up. It is a, um, a surge, a frequency, conduction. So when this happens, as within, so without, we're seeing this happen in the collective as well. And there may be things that we're seeing rising against, uprising, right? Why do uprisings occur? Well, from the us versus them perspective, it's because right versus wrong, good versus bad, whatever it is. From another perspective, it's an energetic movement. It's that simple. We have an energetic movement that's happening right now. And I know, I know some people are going, well, it's not that simple. There's a lot going on, Carrie. I know. I'm not here to talk about all of the things that are going on in the political realms and the ethers and the astral realms and the other dimensions and the battle here and the battle there and economics. I can tune into all of that. And I have, I feel it. I choose in this reality to do my best to feel my best. And it doesn't involve playing in those realms. I'm making a conscious choice to utilize my frequency in the best way that I possibly can for the greater good of myself and others. 
Other people might really be gifted in those other fields. That's their choice to play in. I'm bringing this up because we don't have to play in the same pool that everybody else is playing in, even though the chaos would like to make us think that we do. So it's not wrong if we do, it's a choice. It's a vibration and a frequency. And it's very good to be aware of the chaos in many cases and to recognize what's being stirred up. So we'll talk about that for a minute. What's being stirred up? A reorganization of a previous timeline or timeline insurgence is feeling is being felt right now a pushing up against a sense of urgency a rise in electrical frequency potentially from unnatural sources this can come in the form of sound electricity and that's about it i mean there's a lot of other things but vibration sound and electricity current when this ramps up so too does the human skin suit in response to that technology. However, for every, what is it, every action, there's a reaction, but that's not exactly what I'm speaking of. I will say simultaneously from another perspective, our bodies are fine tuning and acclimating to these frequencies and energies. And also simultaneously, we are naturally and organically evolving in order to fit into the higher expression or dimensional expression or higher vibrational frequency or expansion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this happens organically with the help of planetary alignments, the map, our solar system, the solar sun, the mother earth, all of the chemical elements, crystals that vibrate and actually make a sound that assist us with reorganizing our physical elements and relationship with time. So everything's in the process of reorganizing and there's this chaotic frequency that is seeking to draw us towards it magnetically, we'll say, electrically. And that's just one perspective. But again, from a higher perspective, that's already happening, happening organically. So it can feel like this push and pull. It can feel loopy at times, and it takes a toll, this is the play on words, a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of value, a certain amount of frequency, um, in order to equalize under this pressure. And I've kind of talked about this before about the video under pressure. It's important for us, especially now, while we have this heightened organic in and inorganic mm, overlay working kind of like a subset right a bubble within a bubble to support our system in the best way we possibly can so that the inorganic stuff that's happening within the field or the soup that we are all coexisting within doesn't have the same impact on us that pulls us off of our own conduit. Um, I'm hearing currency, our own value system, our own electrical response, our own inner stimuli. So, I'm kind of speaking in a multidimensional way here. So there's a lot of different ways of looking at this. Being in our heart is key. 
allowing our nervous system to be nurtured right now is key. Allowing our system to recenter and recharge is key. Grounding our grounding wire, our feet, our body, our chakras, our roots, our causal body, physical body, emotional body, all of that, mental body. Well, how do you ground your mental body? Well, if we're not all over the place, wrapped up in this chaos, we're centered. We are more grounded. We're less likely to be pulled in many different directions. We do that through breathing, meditating, focused awareness, allowing ourselves to let go, so on and so forth. This also applies to our emotional grounding, right? Allowing ourselves to feel what's coming up and yet at the same time recognizing what is in ours and not getting pulled into that field or that overlay or someone else's pattern. But also the physical body, if our physical body is completely out of balance, it's much more difficult for us to manage our emotional and mental body and vice versa. So it is all about balance. So if we realize that we're feeling this way, making appropriate choices on how we respond to the stimuli is what's important right now. I could go into all of the physical stuff. Again, I'll do a video on the physical at some point, but basic things I talk about all the time. I just mentioned a few of them. Um, I've been drinking water with ginger and lemon. I've been um, ramping up on my vitamin C. I've been trying to include more foods and drink that have nutrients and um, minerals in them. Um, when I'm done with this video, my intention is to get grounded and go outside and just be in the grass for a little bit so I can really connect with the earth with intention, not just sitting on my um, electrical device <laughs> outside, not with my Bluetooth headphones in the whole time, um, taking a break from all of that. And it's really hard for some people to do that, you guys. We've really become addicted. Addicted to the, so much, right? Addicted to certain foods, addicted to certain um, stories, addicted to certain thought patterns, addicted to certain habits, et cetera, et cetera. So do something different. If that's something that you are in the habit of doing, take out the earbuds, Go outside, lay on the grass, focus on your breathing. I am breathing in for five counts. I am breathing out for five counts. Put your timer on, not your watch that also has EMF frequencies attached to it, connecting to your pulse. Take it all off. I'm not saying go out and take it all off unless you're in some place where you can, <laughs> but get grounded. Um making sure that your body is relaxing. The nervous system is relaxing as much as possible. And I, I, I am hearing a question right now that I'm already sensing in the collective from this. So I'll share that in just a moment. Carrie, what if we're getting all this electrical stimulation? I'm laying in the grass. I'm just pulling up that electricity and it's gonna make things worse. Not true. From one perspective, from my perspective. That is a belief, and let me go back for just a moment. In some ways, it could be true based on your where you live. However, from another perspective, we can over, override that. That's part of what's happening in our bodies. Part of our the reason we are so stimulated right now is to, we chose to be here during this time during this advanced technology, during all of this radiation that we're receiving. We, we can handle it, providing we do take the appropriate measures in order to counter it. And that means we equalize. It means we go down and come back up. 
we go down and come back up. If we've been in the city and we haven't gotten out to the country for a while, yeah, we're gonna feel fried. But there's even places that you can go to. There's salt rooms that you can go to. Um, even some technology can help ground you, which is counter uh, counterintuitive from just being in nature. But if that's the only option that you have, take it. There's crystal um, beds that you can find at spas. There's red light therapy, which yes, it's electricity and it's not really the only answer. There's going into a red light sauna, allowing the sweat to detoxify the organs, the glands. Um, again, I said salt rooms. Take a bath and throw some crystals and some uh, pink Himalayan salt in it. Obviously providing your health, you know, if you can't, if you're able to do that with high blood pressure and all of that, keep those things in mind. Um, I have said this many times, stick your feet in your house plants, bond with your plant, one foot in one plant, one foot in the other, just breathe in for five counts, breathe out for five counts. There's a lot of options. If you have rocks in your backyard, stick your feet on top of the rocks. That's not the only answer. It's only one of the tools to use, but getting out in nature, getting back to our original connection, right? Our source. We are here on a living planet that is alive. And she also has the ability to counteract all of the frequencies that are being that she is being bombarded with. And from, I'm getting goosebumps. Even from one perspective, we as human conductors of sound, frequency, and electricity, when we get together in groups and we center our energy into Mother Earth, our bare foot on the earth, when we sing, when we vibrate, when we become the tuning forks, we are also helping one another to counter the frequencies that are inorganic. Yes, this is what I've been shown and I'm, I'm just being called to share what I see. So, um, uh, well, bottom line is you have a wave and you have chaos. This is our incoherent electricity. This is our coherent electricity. These are the humans connecting into the earth. This is the sound and it breaks up, scatters. It causes that other energy to scatter and dissipate from what my guys have shown me. And again, I'm not an electrical engineer, nor do I claim to be, but this is what I've, I've been shown. And so you have to look up the science around that, but it has something to do with scalar waves. And um, I know I've listened to a lot of Dan Winter, but he calls it something else. But either way, we're just going to call it scalar waves because that's what the mainstream calls it. So we dissipate the energy when we do that intentionally and with focus. So if we're dissipating the chaos and we're creating a coherent long wave that doesn't break apart as easily, it reactivates the energy centers. It re rejuvenates and revives the central nervous system. It helps us to balance out the vagus nerve. It helps us to open right, our energy centers and to allow our body to do what it needs to do so that we can um, work through all of this energetic, I'm just hearing trash, like there's debris, that's the right word, debris. So we're in a debris field right now, folks, <laughs> from my perspective. Um, this isn't to say, though, that we're not here cleaning it up, unless, but if we're not cleaning up our stuff, then it doesn't have the same impact uh, as it does when we're a clean conduit. So again, doing whatever we need to do to be that. 
drink water, get your immune system back in check, get the nervous system back in check. Um, it's not just about that though, it's balance, minerals. Are we eating the right foods, right? Um, are we feeling positive? So I'm gonna go back to the fear. I don't know if I said this or not, I've, cause I've done so many videos recently. So apologies if I'm being redundant, but this isn't meant to elicit or create fear because I know there are some people that are, oh, back to, well, if we've got all this bombardment, then I, me going outside, I don't wanna be outside in, in rain if we've got chemtrails. Again, it's not about that. It is about that, but it isn't about that. That is a, I don't wanna just say story because it, it is real from one perspective, but from another perspective, it only has the power that we give it. So if we continue perpetuating that, and that's all we're focused on, and we're afraid to go outside, and we're afraid to dance in the rain, and we're afraid to swim in the polluted ocean, right? Granted, there's some places you shouldn't swim. <laughs> Common sense, but we really do have, I, I sat out in the rain the other day, my husband and I were, were sitting outside, it started raining, and we were just decided to stay out and let it rain, let it pour. And he made the comment later, my hair feels incredible. <laughs> like he didn't wash it, he just let it, it was just the softest, it just felt so good. We felt so energized, we felt so good after we did that. These are the things that are, the indigenous people do all the time or our ancestors did all the time. And we've lost that connection quite, quite often. We don't, we don't do it. Um, so that's, those are just some things. While simultaneously, it'd be a good idea to put a filter on your shower head, right? Cause we're not showering in rainwater. Um, I bless the earth when I go outside. I give gratitude to the rain. We, our heart coherence goes out, our heart energy creates a bubble. And according to heartmath.org, I believe, three to 15 feet. So when we're in joy and bliss, it, our energy field goes out 15 feet around us, maybe bigger. When we're feeling condensed, it, when we're feeling under pressure, sad, angry, um, Oh, I'm going to get to that in just a minute. It condenses and it doesn't go out as far. We don't have as big of a ripple effect and it also has an impact on our body, et cetera, et cetera. So if we're sending out this signal, which is an electrical wave from one perspective, 15 feet out around our body, don't you think that's having an effect on the water that's falling around us? Don't you think that has an effect on the trees and the dirt that's under our feet? doesn't just go out side to side, front to back, it goes up and down. And it's been measured. This is science. So the more we can recognize this and get out of fear about it, take our power back, it's not like we're taking it back. We can only take it back if we've given it away. So if we're going to give it away to give it away, give it away, give it away now. If we are, um, if we know that we're giving more power to something than ourselves, that is making our light less bright. We're not as shining as brightly. We're in a place of fear. So this is the era. This is the time where many of us are starting to realize just how much energy we hold. Otherwise, why would there be this intense electric signal that's being sent out? Why would this sound energy be used? Why would we have certain things in our water and our foods, right? There's a reason behind this in the old paradigm, the us versus them. We are no longer ensnared within that 
paradigm unless we choose to be and we sometimes make that choice unconsciously by continuing to perpetuate those stories and i'm not saying they're not real however perpetuating those stories and not really doing taking the action to change them is what I'm referring to. I'm perpetuating the story by sharing this information with you. But I'm not going into a space of retribution and anger. I've already been there, done that. And that's not to say I don't get angry sometimes. I do. I get triggered. I become frustrated. And I feel that energy in my body. And it doesn't feel good will say that some people need that sometimes in order to break out of zombie, in order to break out of depression, anger at least gets a little momentum going. But the more we perpetuate that, the more havoc it 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 wreaks on our immune system, on our nervous system, and the less positive impact we have on our environment if that's what we're going for so it's just a matter of science but it's a matter of the heart which also means bliss and love which is an emotional feeling uh, from another perspective oh there's so many different places i could go into so i just wanted to make everybody aware this is what i've been sensing feeling and seeing. And we have every, yeah, we've got, we've got the power within us to balance this out, providing we stay balanced. I'm I'm being called to say another one more thing, and then I'm going to end on this note. We might get sick. We might have to sleep for a week because we're really under the weather. When our immune system and nervous system and everything is overtaxed, again, this goes back to value, goes back to what we've given our energy to. And sometimes it's not that we, and and so I'm being called to share, it doesn't mean we've done anything wrong, wrong versus right. It's a matter of whenever I use the term right, I think of it as geometry, a right angle. It fits. Um, So... It just is. Sometimes our body is telling us, I just need to reset. So we're going to, we're going to let this happen. Boom. We're out for the count. It forces us not to do anything. And I refer to that sometimes as an upgrade. I've had um, sickness and through a lot of the sickness that I've had, it's given me perspective given me an opportunity to see another side of myself. It's given me an opportunity to feel humble. It's given me an opportunity to feel grateful. You know, if you've ever been sick and you couldn't eat for a week, um, or if you've had, you know, the Rona, then you know how it feels. And it's so, I'm so grateful when I come out of it, like, oh, I'm alive. (laughs) So sometimes that's something we need in our lives to experience in order to feel the fullness of life. That's not wrong. So not beating ourselves up and not judging someone else. Oh, you haven't been taking your vitamins, right? This is all an experience and our perspective about that experience holds the key. So that is um, my little energy update for now. And again, I will hopefully put together some physical or some videos about the body and all that. I keep saying this to remind myself (laughs) to actually make it happen. So in love and light guys, hang in there. This is all, um, and I gotta say one more thing. I have met some of the most beautiful souls who are just, incredible and i am so grateful for all of the beautiful humans that are bringing so much light to the planet or better or more more, other than that in addition to 
I'm so grateful for my experience in interacting and exchanging energy with the fractals of source that are all around that each one of us are. And I'm so grateful for earth and all of the energy and the sustenance and the beauty, <sighs> right? Because there is so much of that. And I know there's suffering and I know there's nefarious things going on. I was, you know, I've, I see it, feel it, but the other is equalizing in such a way that I'm, I'm just honored to be on this journey. So thank you for sharing in this as well. Namaste.